coming back for the jump up. The Dortmund SSH5 Quintola, Zazu Hoffman, Samson 2, Georgina Bloomberg, Schummer, and Nicole Shahani and Simpson, and Akuna Matata. Those four coming back for the jump up. We're getting right down to business here with the Dortmund SS from Brazil and H5 Quintola, 13 year old Gray Gelding. All right, so we saw with a nice pace in the first round from three to four people did nine strides. So certainly there's an eight there without any problem, I feel. Just three jumping up for the remaining of the Dortmund SS. Okay. Right. Let's see. Wow. Wow. Impressive. What a time. 42.64 seconds. First to go clear. First in the jump off. He goes double clear. Now a Dortmund SS H5 Quintol. They are in first place. 42.64 seconds. That's our time to be with a clear round. Okay, so here's the first fence. Time to beat 42.64 seconds. There's the eight. Okay. I think everyone will do eight, but I don't expect others will do seven. This looks pretty tidy. Very nice and tidy to that. Oh, Jumps deep in. there. She got lucky oh, there. Oh. oh, I think she rubbed she it, rubbed but it, it stayed up. Come on, Zazu, so quick in the jump box. Oh. <laughs> There's that finish slide. She does she it did. in the first place. Awesome. Zazu Hoffman, Samson, too. What a ride. Brilliant ride. 41.68 seconds. What a great rider there. Right, so Shimmer's our next horse. Fast. Georgina Bloomberg certainly super fast as well. And this Georgina's is a, fast and this is a fast horse. Okay. And there's the seven again. Okay. So a little bit wider. Okay. <laughs> okay, so 41.68 seconds. Yeah. Okay, she's slowed down. She on the reins, I think not going to be able to take over the lead. Okay, there's the clear round as well. 44.73 seconds. So Georgina Bloomberg, Sharmer move into a third place with that performance. Double clear as well. But Zazu Hoffman still in first with a time of 41.68 seconds. And just one remaining. There they are. This is the 10-year-old mare, Akuna Matata. And once again, that is Swahili for No Worries and Nicole Shahinian Simpson. So time to beat. That's 41.68 seconds. There's the quiet eight, but the quiet eight allows a tighter roll back to this vertical. Ooh. Oh, there's a special track there. I wondered if that was there when I walked in. She could okay. pull it off. She'll okay. have it. 41.68 seconds. She can time take to beat. Her time here now. She does not need to rush. Come on. You can hear the, the crowd. The crowd, going they're crazy. on their feet. <laughs> she did it. She, she did it. Oh. No. She had the last jump. Oh, down. just oh, that final that fence here. down. Oh. oh she 41.15 seconds. She had the time. And everyone's Nick. screaming for it. Oh, the crowd were on their feet for that. And Nicole Shanian Simpson, Akuna Matata, unfortunately, the final fence. I mean, I think she had the distance and everything was fine, and we all thought she had it. And oh, just we barely even touched. see it on the camera. We couldn't even see the high men touch it. And this was the $100,000 Longines FEI Jumping World Cup Del Mar, presented by EQ International Real Estate. Show jumping at its finest here, right in Del Mar, California. Oh, I'm just ecstatic. I, you know, I owe so much credit to that horse and that owner. Um, I'm just really happy. I was not expecting that tonight. I honestly have no idea. I watched Eduardo and I thought that I was unbeatable. Uh, he did seven up the first line and I maybe my eight helped me on that rollback turn back to the next vertical. And I, I know Samson's such a trier that I could really take a shot at the wall. That helped, but I don't. I honestly don't know. Foot speed, luck. <laughs> you know, it takes a whole team team behind you, and I just have a lot of people to thank for getting me here. I've been having a little bit of like a rough day, rough week. So, um, you know, it just goes to show that all that effort that you put in really, really means something.